What's going on y'all? This is old Buck with Carolina Crazy Outdoors. Before we get into the video, I want to thank every one of y'all who tune in. I really hope y'all enjoy the videos I put out and I want to thank my sponsors. JC's Outdoors, all your hunting and fishing needs, live bait, guns, archery and apparel, serving breakfast and lunch, flight deck restaurant, voted best family restaurant in Lexington, great food, homemade desserts with the perfect blend of southern and Greek flavor, huge arcade to entertain the kids, Priceless Country Store, all your feed and seed needs from dogs to horses and many animals in between, fence supplies, livestock, accessories and gardening, Twin City Concrete, for all your concrete needs, they pour driveways, slabs for porches, and shops and sidewalks. Car craps tire, all things tires, passenger, commercial, and farm machinery. They also do brakes and oil changes. Warren's Landscaping Services, everyday lawn care maintenance, lighting, irrigation systems, and water features. Proudly serving Lexington and the Gilbert for over 24 years. Tommy Corley Trapping, offers car coyote trapping lessons. If you have a coyote problem, he can fix it. Sticks Baits. Soft bait fishing lures, homemade molds made for bass fishing. Water days, comfortable apparel for your day on the water. Proceeds provide swimming lessons and boater safety courses to minimize water tragedy. Anything you buy at Water Days, you'll get a 15% off if you use my code Caro Crazy 15 I like that game cog hat you got. Oh yeah. Mm. I don't know about that. It's in a bad state of mind right now. Hopefully old Beamer gonna get him out the hole. Yeah, we'll see. I ain't too hot to miss it by the behave. I mean, we're so used to not doing good that it's just another day for us. That's right. Yep. We used to it. If you ain't, you ain't. Something's wrong. That's a point. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, he's ready to go. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Yes, sir. Kind of high for now. Better calm down. <laughs> That's looking ready to go, buddy. Come on. About to find out what you got in your tank. Powdered sugar. That's the name right there, there buddy. Some sugar boy. Now, who would name a male dog powdered sugar? I, I know who would. <laughs> <laughs> She's not here, is she? Nah, she sure ain't. <laughs> She's an older dog, right? Mom too, sugar. Yeah. She ain't too bad. She could be better, but that's part to do with me. I could hunt her more too. Come on. Oh my god. Oh. About to go try the tree cool. It's kinda windy. Yeah. And it's definitely cold. Oh man, it's cold, cold. Yeah, it's biting a little bit for sure. <coughs> Get up in there. Oh yeah. Alright, yeah. Come on. Get in there. I'll you had to do it, right? <laughs> Good too, you ain't coming in heat, so that's a good thing. Get on in there. Heck yeah. It's time, ain't it? It's time to Let's roll. Do it. Let's do it. You ready? I'm ready. All right, All right y'all, we finally got here. We're on a piece of property right now. We're both excited. Uh, this place has got some big cornfields on it. It's been deer hunted all season. So you know they kept all um, corn out and stuff and food. Right. Um, it's got some big swamps on it. The guy that owns this place says it's got a bunch of raccoons. So I'm hoping this wind ain't gonna affect us this morning, uh, not this morning, this night, but I'm hoping the wind ain't gonna affect us. But uh, what you think? We're gonna give it a whirl. Basically, we're gonna try to make two drops, uh, cut loose powdered sugar by itself, <coughs> see what happens. And then cut loose candy, either by herself or with him. It all depends on how he does on the first drop and then go from there pretty much. And I like hunting just in general, one or two dogs if possible. Sometimes working in a third dog, if it's a pup or a young dog ain't, you know, but in the end I want the dog to go get treed on its own, mm -hmm. period. So that's the point. Right, right. So, you know, so, what you, so kind of what you're saying is some dogs may not tree on their own and they won't tree unless they got another dog with them that will tree. Yeah, but that starts with the whoever trains Right, it. I got you. Because if a dog's got it in them and if it's trained right and done right 
it should go tree a coon by itself. Right. I got period. you. Now, if you choose to hunt four, five, six, or eight dogs, because that's how you like doing it, then that's your choice. Yeah. But a coon dog is bred to tree a coon, strike and tree a coon, and go hunting by itself. Right. I got you. And stay treed till you get there. That's how it should be. Well, we're going to hope that's what happens tonight. That's right. So. Yeah, it's windy, it's cold. So, um. And then last week, by the way, we was in shorts. Yeah, shorts. <laughs> South Carolina weather. Yeah, in shorts. And now tonight, we freezing and griping because <laughs> it's windy and cold. <laughs> so there you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're about to turn them loose. You'll get one, right? One dog. Okay. I hope. I love how them things hunt, man. He didn't got it on the coon. Though. Really? Good deal. Yeah. She's barking down and that's that's the guy, boy dog. No, that's candy. That's candy. The older mama dog, right. so to speak. Chris said he's trailing one, so Yeah, right here is sugar in front of sugar. down there in right. the swamp. Yeah. I got you. I'm gonna go hush her up. Okay. You can get some footage of sugar treeing or trailing or whatever happens. Right. He's opening. Let me go hush All right. her up. I'll be right here. He's ho he's opened up down in there. He ain't treated or nothing, but he is trailing, Chris says he thinks so. Hopefully that's a good sign. He's a he's getting to be a long ways away, I know that. All right, y'all, here's what we got. Dog's tree, a little over 300 yards away. So um, it's, it's thick in there. Thank God we didn't bring the kids tonight because again, we wouldn't be taking them in there. But um, we're gonna try to drive as close as we can because, man. Yeah, I ain't walking no further than I got to anyway. <laughs> I don't know if y'all I don't know if y'all can hear that dog on the video. Candy, be, be, hush. Listen, listen, listen. Walk up in front of the truck a little, and they might can hear. Candy, hush. Hush. You making here. But anyway, he's treed. So we go go, we're gonna drive as close as we can, man, and knock it down. Like it, like Chris said. It ain't the downhill part that bothers us. It's the coming up the hill part that we don't want to do, go. so. <laughs> and just the walking in general, because right. I'm fat for a reason. <laughs> well, you're a lot slimmer than I am. Both. I could be slimmer. <laughs> yeah, me, me I too. <laughs> well, let's go get this dog. All right. All right, y'all, we got some exciting news. We went from 300 yards to a little under 100 yards. About 172. 170? But we can handle that. Hey, that's better than 300 any day. Yeah, let's go get this dog. <laughs> I know you definitely should be able to hear him now. He's, he's treating good. He's in. Dang, we should have followed this road. Tell you what, I see some big tall pines in here. Hope he ain't top of one of them. Yeah. Not. You ever had a feeling we about to be in some nasty stuff? Always. <laughs> I'm looking around my house like we are. That's hey, it might be a good place to turn in right here, Chris. Yeah. There you go. Never nothing. No one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm about to cut a somersault. Boy, there's some tall pines, Ruth Hall. Huh? 
That's probably what's up right there. <laughs> yeah. Across right here. Uh huh. I'm gonna tie him back. Okay. Gotcha. This might be a challenge to find him to kill him. Right. Dang, it is a big pine. Golly. Get a good video. All right. All right, here we go. Hey, hold this real quick. Yeah, I got you. Get me. Hey, <laughs> Oh Lord. Yeah, right. yeah I hold it on. Yeah, Alright, here's the deal, y'all. Dog done his job. Now we gotta do ours finding this coon, and I'm telling you right tell you right now. This is a big tall pine. I mean a tall pine. This, this is a big pine. Lord have mercy. Fun begins. Yeah, trying to find it. But what I'm gonna do before I even get started uh -huh. is use this red lens I got. Cause anybody that coon hunts or knows in a thicker tree or a pine tree or whatever, don't ask me how or why, but a coon will look at that red light before it'll look at a white light. <laughs> So that's why I use it. I'm fixing to use it. And I got him that fast. You see him already? I swear to God. Oh, my land. He's right up to here. All right. And once I get a bead on him with the red light in this camera right, right here, then I'll try to use the white light just to show the people. Right. Now if he right goes, there he is, right there he is. now if he goes on up the top of that tree, that ain't good. Yeah. Look, put the camera. It's I don't think you better see it. No, it does. And even, hold on a second. I thought I thought I seen. Yeah, he's right there. I think I see him. Yeah, that's some red eyes right there. I can't there. tell. It's hard to tell. Well, let's see right now, man. He's right there. Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. Yeah, yeah. I see him moving. Actually. Yep. He's right there in that pine. Yep. Get him, boy. Get him. Let me. I want to get a little more footage of the dog, Chris. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But I'm gonna need you to help me in a minute because I ain't. Yeah. Alright. Alright, y'all seen it? We got a coon in the tree. Let me get a little more food to this dog, bud. Exciting stuff. Now I got to hit him again. Here he comes. There he comes. There he comes. Hold, hold the gun. Give me the light. That's him right there. Heck yeah. I already see him now. Surely he ain't hit the ground running. I don't know where. Ain't no way. That would be our load. Yeah. He didn't hit the ground running, bro. <laughs> now that right there is what you call bad luck. That coon hit the ground and took off. It fell that far out that tree, hit the ground and took off. Oh, 
Dog got him. Dog got him. Good. Good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, keep the video. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do your thing, man. Y'all hear Y'all hear what's going on, but. Big old coon, Bo. Is it? Big bow coon? Big old coon. I can't tell right now, Bo. Right. I'm going to have to. Alright, Chris. Bring him here, bro. That is a big. Bring him here closer. Well, is that dog going to raise yeah. him? But that's a dang nice one. Heck yeah. That's a big one. That one is an 820 a deer coin. <laughs> and everything else. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I can't hold it. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm good. All right. All right, y'all. Here's what we got going on. We were successful on the first drop. We used one single dog, and uh, we went by Chris's, dropped that dog off. Yeah, just to keep it from barking in the box or getting excited or whatnot. Right. Dropped that coon off. Yep. Um, you got some people you give them to. Oh, but, yeah. Um, For eating. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I ain't wasting no. If no. I shoot something. It's going to get eight, whether yeah. it's by me or somebody else. That's right. And uh, what we got, we're on a totally different piece of property this time. Coon infested, um, farmland, chicken houses, cornfields, yeah. and hoping we can get on one in here. But uh, we got, uh, what's this dog's name? Candy? Candy. We got Candy yeah. this time. Single dog. Like Chris said, single dog should build a tree by itself. What they're born and bred to do. And if not, we gonna show you that too. <laughs> yeah, cause they ain't no dog perfect. No, nope. just like human beings, ain't it? Yeah, I, yeah, okay, yeah, exactly. That's right. So, and also to the landowners that'll allow somebody that's responsible, cause as a hunter, that's the thing. You need to be responsible and respect the property that people allow you to hunt that's right and that means no cigarette butts on the ground uh no cans no trash no nothing that's it. and that is your responsibility when you hunt in their property that's right that's part of it so yep <coughs> that's facts that's all it is to it period hallelujah and if you uh don't respect that don't question why you got run off from it. <laughs> or in a case of some, when they allow you to coon hunt, in this case, cause that's all I've really ever did. Generally when they tell you, you can coon hunt it if you get rid of the coons cause they eat in their uh, corn for deer or the crops they plant, they generally mean it. So if they catch you not killing them, I'm not saying kill every coon, but you got to respect the fact that also why they allowing you right. to, to hunt it. Pretty much, you got to honor their wishes. I mean, right. if they tell you to come in there and get rid of the coons, you need to come in there and get rid of the That's coons. That's it. Ain't no different than a deer club after That's deer it. season. That's it. That's it. They open up the doors and the windows, and we get the coon hunted. And the reason... Yeah, they have fun, meaning the members of the club, but they also need some stuff and rodents, which is what a coon is, <laughs> gone. Because, like I've said before, I think on that last video last year, I swear to God, one raccoon on a corn pile will eat the equivalent to two or three deer. I believe it. Yep. That's facts. If you, look, if you look at your cameras too, oh, it's them, crazy. them coons will stay on oh, that corn it? all night. Oh yeah, three, four hours. Yeah, and that's yep. proof. Facts. That's crazy. Yeah. So well, we about to go cut candy loose and see what happens. Yeah, we up here on the edge of a previously cut cornfield, so we're gonna run them in this head, right? And hoping you know we can get on a good hot, hot track and. We don't get wanna, one tree. That's it. We don't want to be here at two o'clock, two in the morning though. I ain't gonna be out until <laughs> two, though. Too old now. Too old. Yes. All right, y'all wish us luck. All right, y'all, we're about to cut candy loose. You can walk around a little bit and head on up in there. Right. Come on, girl. Oh, shoot. What the f goes on? You ready? You got me? Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you.
Get, get, get your up there. <laughs> All right, y'all. She's barking a little bit. She's trailing, she ain't treated or nothing, but she's barking, so hopefully that's a good sign. We'll see what happens. That wind's starting to pick up too, so. <laughs> that ain't helping none. Blow up on a tree. Yeah. But, hey, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Hopefully we get a cone. Oh yeah, she's, yeah, she's moving it yeah, on Yeah, she's now. moving on. You may be able to hear, I don't know. This goat. Uh oh. Yeah, she's moving it on. Yeah, that's good. There's all that corn. Oh, yeah. Corn from just acres and acres and acres and acres, buddy. Way on that <laughs> yeah. Thing. No wonder these coons get fat around here. Oh, I'm telling. It's crazy. <laughs> but they smart as whips. Oh yeah. That's the bad part about it. Yeah. It's a creature. <laughs> <laughs> Whether you can see them eating in your trash or in a garbage dump's one thing, but try to tree them <laughs> out yeah. in the country. That's it. Yeah. Different store. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's getting running too. Yeah, she's getting on off. All right, y'all, here's what we got going on. We hear the dog way, how far is she now? She ain't, honestly, about 277. 277. Um, 300 range. Right. It's just a little different. Something ain't normal. Right. Well. Uh, she wants to treat and she quits. Wants to treat and she quits. So. And this is one of your good dogs too, so. Oh yeah, she's pretty consistent, even if she's messing up, but <laughs> right now she ain't even wanting to get treed. So we're gonna have to pull up there and try to find out probably what's going on with her. Right. But right there, 247. Gotcha. That's she she ain't consistent even barking. That's a no, thing that's about weird. It. Something's going on. Right. Yeah. Well, we're gonna head. We're gonna head that way. How long do you usually give them when something ain't going right? Or you think something's not right? <laughs> yeah, she ain't sounding normal. Right. Yeah, that's the bottom line to it all. Even if the coon done run into something, who mm -hmm. knows? Yeah. Uh, she was sounding pretty convincing earlier and it just got dead. Like, yeah, something ain't normal. Yeah. That's the best way to explain it. Well, I mean, that's and part the only of it. Way to, yeah, it's part of it. And the only way to go figure it out is to <laughs> go figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Chris finally got out here and got his dog. I don't think he's too happy right now. It uh, definitely didn't go as planned. Um, something out of ordinary happened though. I mean, that dog, she was on, on trailing the coon earlier and I don't know what really happened, but we'll see what Chris has to say about it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you stepped on. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Frustrations. Frustration set in, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm a little pissed off. <laughs> Excuse my language. What? Coon put it on. Hey. It's part of. At least you're honest. That's all right, girl. Hey, Next time. Guess. Next time. We'll get him we'll next time. We'll try it again. Hey. Yeah. Oh. That's, all. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Hey, I hope y'all can see <laughs> these videos are real. I mean, this does not go as planned. No. Coon put it on her, but hey, that's part of it, man. Yeah. Part of it. And that's an old dog. If y'all yeah. need to see right there, it's gray in the face. Yeah. <laughs> but that's how it goes. That's it. All right, I man. Still that still don't make me happy. Oh, yeah. We're going to wrap this thing up. Got anything you want to say, Hog? Next time, we'll do it again. 
Hey, uh, for sure. Carol, like Carolina fan says, we'll we'll ne we'll do it next time. We'll win next no, time. Uh, wait till next year. Well, we ain't waiting the next year to go coon hunt again. <laughs> no, uh -uh. But if you're yeah. gonna be a Gamecock fan, wait you've got next to year. wait till next year. That's it. As always. Yeah. Anyway, we hope y'all enjoyed this video. We did get one coon. Um, the second time we dropped out, it did not pan out. But hey, that's part of hunting. I mean, that ain't the first time, and it ain't the uh, last time either. But uh, y'all have a good one. We'll see y'all next time.